lovelies, it's Clueless Mama D and today we are going from Clueless to I Got This on Button Art. Okay guys, so I totally have a little confession to make to you guys. For some odd reason, I love buttons. I don't know what it is about the little, round, colorful, reusable things, but I love to reuse them for crafts. And I even call my adorable son Jarvis, I call him a little button too. So buttons are dear to my heart, and I think years ago on Pinterest, I might have saw these super cool initial buttons that are in picture frames, and ever since I've been making it for any new babies that are coming in the family and I do have a new baby who is expected to come next week so it's the perfect time to share this with you guys it's super easy super simple super affordable like every kind of DIY I do on this channel so make sure you hit subscribe if you like this sort of thing um, and if you're already a subscriber you know I love you and also um, I'm gonna show you guys how to do the letter button um, art. I, don't know, I wish I had a more catchy name for it, button art thingy. Okay, I'm going to show you guys how to do the initials that I normally do, but I stepped outside of the box a little bit more clueless to I got this on Auntie Tay's channel. If you guys don't know who Auntie Tay is, make sure you check out the video in the playlist. On her channel, I did show how to do Disney princess button arts, and you guys are going to love that video, but more importantly, you're going to love her channel. She is really really good at DIYs and if you love Disney you will love her but she also has started to do financial Fridays which I am just like eating up so anyways check out that video after you're done watching this in the comments and subscribe to her I'm sure you'll love her as well but let's get to turning these dollar store picture frames into an adorable gift that you can make for your loved ones or for gifts or whatever so for this DIY, you will need your glue gun, a picture frame, and buttons of your color choice. For the backdrop to the buttons, I literally just used the back of the photo that comes with the frame. Recycle, reuse! And I just positioned it so that I knew that all the buttons would be seen. And then I start to draw out my letter shape in a pencil very lightly. I realize I've never made my son one, so I'm starting with a J for Jarvis. I don't know why I never made him one. <laughs> and then literally, it's so easy, guys. You just hot glue the buttons on. I like to put the smaller buttons at the points so that I can try my best to maintain the shape. So I kind of start out and then work my way inwards being mindful of the different size of the buttons. JJ's room is blue and white, uh, so I chose to do blue. And then for my nephew, I'll just quickly show you guys what that turned out as well. My nephew who's expected to arrive next week, his room is green, so I chose green. You want to pick off all of the hot glue strings and erase any of your pencil mark that shows up over the button outline. And there you have it. It's pretty, it's simple. I actually went back and added one more button because it looked like it was a missing spot. And this is what I made for Matthew, my nephew who's expected to come next week. There you go, MJ for Michael Jackson. <laughs> this is so easy and so fun, guys. Let me know in the comments if you enjoyed watching this and stay tuned to the next part while I just quickly say goodbye to you guys. All right, guys, so I really hope you enjoyed that super easy tutorial. They are so cute, such a cute gift to make for anybody, really, and it doesn't take a lot of time. So I hope you liked it. It doesn't cost a lot of money. Again, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell so you can be updated here. And in the description, I put the video link to Auntie Tay's channel, who you will love. And you can see me over there teaching how to make the Princess Disney button art. It's still super easy, but it's a little bit more to it than this. So 
so I know you guys are gonna appreciate it. In the comments, let me know below, do you ever do any kind of crafts and arts that have to do with recycling things? Because I'm really all about that right now. I'm also doing a decluttering series right now on this channel where I'm getting rid of things, but I'm gonna be going through my craft drawer soon. So I wanna know uh, what things I need to hang on and is there anything I'm getting rid of that can be made into some really cool DIYs. So let me know if you've seen something like this and what tips you have on recyclable, reusable crafts that are awesome. Love you lovelies.